Mr. Novak, he is um, under cardiac arrest now. I will start CPR now. Could you, could you please come? Thank you very much. No pulse. No. There is, what, I, I can see, what is there? There is a leaf tape. Can you okay, okay, stop the leaf from there? Please. Charging, everyone clear? Okay, shock delivered. It's not. Okay, good job. <laughs> In September 2019, we opened the simulation center. With this, we joined the other faculties that used most recent and most modern technology for the education of medical students. It's a place and a background for medical students to be exposed to critical conditions and to try them without affecting the health of the actual patient. It can also help to train soft skills, team management and a professional attitude to the patient. Besides SIMMAN 3G for training of medical conditions, we also have other simulators, for example for examination of lungs and cardiac ultrasound. SIM Center goes across many medical specialties, theoretical and clinical. Core of our simulation center is an artificial patient. Karel has a life functions controlled by computers from a control room. Functions can be monitored on a live function monitor and can be changed by simulating doctors. And students have to react uh, on these changes by su suggesting and making correct treatment. We can give injections to him and he changes his life functions based on this treatment. Here in control room, the status of patient is uh, uh, controlled either automatically where our artificial patients react automatically on before definite scenario or we can manually prepare uh, some hot times for our students. We make a manually problem for them which they have to solve. Um, having the training at the simulation center has uh, given us a great opportunity to try on um, really real situation, in urgent situation, to really know how to put our theoretical um, knowledge into practice. And this has been a, um, a great value that is added into uh, my medical studies here.